please, dear gods. Can anyone help? Those outlaw swine have ruined me. Ruined! I find the gods leave us to fend for ourselves. Tell me what you need, and maybe I can help you. True enough. You look like you can handle yourself. Filthy swine stole my prized tools, though they are worthless to them. I am ruined unless you can help me. Point me towards these thieves, and I will bring the heavens down upon them. Praise Zeus! I am the artist Podiklitos. Hunt down the bandits and recover my prized tools. Wait. What is your name, Mystios? I am called Cassandra. By the gods! Could it be true? What? No, nothing. Please, recover my tools and I'll see you rewarded. Avia, Donesti! <laughs> Onward! Try to stay out of sight. I found your tools. I can't believe it. Maybe you really are from Olympus. No, my friend. I am flesh and blood like you. Oh, well. At least those villagers from the new farm pay well. I need to get there safely. 
If you escort me, I'm sure they will treat you lavishly. What can you tell me about this village? Linu is a small region of devout villagers and farmers. Hard-working people, very serious in their beliefs. They hired me to make them a sculpture of, well, the eagle-bearer. Really? Why? They know your name and your deeds, and believe you to be their savior. Why did you think I carried the blood of Olympus in my veins? Your reputation precedes you, and the villagers of Linu can't stop talking about you. Lead me to Linu Farm. I'll make sure you get there safely. Excellent. I'm sure they will honor you with gifts and riches. Then let's go. How did you learn of this village? My doctrine on beauty is renowned. Village priestesses came to my home in Argos and begged me to come and fashion a figure for them. You came all the way from Argos? They offered good drachmi. It's not easy being an artist, you know. And what is the statue going to look like when you're done? Well, you, I suppose. Me? They worship the eagle bearer. They told me lots of stories. A pretty fair description, though I expected you to be taller. And to have a smaller nose. This theory of yours, who determines what is beautiful? Math! Math? Exactly. Beauty is an equation derived from the commensurability of all the parts of the body. From finger to finger. Fingers to the palm and wrist. Those to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm. And like that, to include the whole of the body. Huh. Math. Gratitude, friend. You saved my hide. And you've given me great reference. Let us talk to the priestess Exioni and be properly welcomed. Good Polyclitos. You made it. Priestess Exioni, my journey was a test from the gods. But look what miracle they have delivered. Who is this? I'm Cassandra. The mysterious you told me about. She appeared like a boat from Zeus and rescued me from road bandits. The Eagle Bearer. This is an unexpected honor. Glad to visit. Uh, how have you heard of me? Certainly you jest. Your deeds are carried along the winds and sung through the stars. We are but a poor village, but your being here gives us hope to cling to in this hard world. And soon there will be a statue to capture a hint of your glory. To have our patron walk among us and give us divine fortune is a wonder. We will be eternally blessed. You are giving me honors I don't deserve. I am just happy I could help Polyclitos. Great and humble is the eagle bearer. There are many lowly servants in our village who could benefit from a kind word from someone of your grace. Uh, who are they? Uh, there is a shepherdess, Herifil. You can find her near the stable south of here. Akatos, the hunter, who has a small house on the west end of the village. And Menarchas, a young farmer. His fields are to the east. Who is this shepherdess? And what's her story? Herifil tends a small herd of goats. Recently, she had a scare in the forest and lost two of her flock to wolves. What can you tell me about the hunter? Hmm. 
Akatos is worried he cannot provide for the village since he recently injured himself. Perhaps you could ease his fears. Priestess, who is the farmer? Mm. Menalcas fears he is cursed. A visit from the eagle bearer could restore his faith and purpose. I will see what I can do for your people. Not my people, divine eagle bearer. We priestesses are but humble servants of your exalted greatness. When you have spoken to them, find me. My sisters and I want to prepare a proper celebration for your portentous visitation. Yes, well, it certainly is me. You are a shepherdess? You, you know me! You know me so well! Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when it was horrible. Wolves, blood and screams everywhere. Did you get hurt? No. You protected me. I did? I carry your totem to pray to, to watch over me. But... I was so scared, I dropped my totem as I ran. I can look for your totem. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where were you attacked? I was leading my flock to pasture through the forest south of the city. I know others have heard of wolves howling there on many nights, but I took a chance. Tell me about this totem. It's a simple thing. An eagle of rough wood and crudely fashioned. It does not come close to capturing your divine glory. But still, it has kept me safe until now. Ah, I, uh, wish it had protected you better. No! It is I who must apologize to you for losing it. I feared you would be angry with me. No, no, of course not. I'll look for your lost totem. They must den near here. Erifeli must have dropped this basket when the wolves attacked. Blood trail. The pack went this way. One of Erifeli's flock. Or what's left of him after the wolves' breakfast? That must be the den of the wolves that attacked Erifili's flock. Worth a look. this bag here. Almost like it was driven. Here is the totem.
Invincible Eagle Bearer. The priestess said you battled the wolves as if guided by the bloodstained Ares himself. How did she know that? She burns offerings of young goats to see signs of your passage. She said you found my totem. It was luck that I was able to find it. The wolves had dragged it deep into their den. Here you go. Gratitude, Eagle Bearer. Would you bless it for me? You don't need my blessing. Just watch the world around you. And you can call me Cassandra. Thank you, Eagle... Cassandra. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. T tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, filling my head with visions and fears. I cannot work and my crops wither. Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods day and night since I took over the farm after my father passed. The voices won't let me sleep, nor rest, and the farm is so much work. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. That the sky will open and drown the fields and my farm. That dark, writhing things will come from the ground and feast on my crops and on my flesh. ...that the Earth will open and swallow us whole. I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. Perhaps. But first, I must determine if this truly is the work of the gods... ...or if your plight is of a more... ...earthly nature. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menalcas broke them, the gods might be angered. Demeter and Dionysus might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. These offerings look abandoned and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. Water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. Huh. These crops stink. Could that drought affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. Menalcas is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that's ridiculous. Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Huh? You wouldn't curse his harvest. I wouldn't? Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. 
Arrow of Artemis, shield of Athena, child of Zeus, not the mistress of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So Menalcas's problems are caused by? Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected by the gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? I should talk to him. Eagle Bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops and is polluting your mind. What do we do? How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. All that work, gone to smoke. No one said it would be easy. It had to be done. I confess, I do feel a bit better already. Thank you for all your help and guidance. Kere, what is wrong, my friend? Are you really the high soaring eagle bearer? I have an eagle, Icarus, who travels with me. But sometimes it's hard to know if I'm in charge or if he is. So kind and humble. The grace of Artemis and the wisdom of Athena. Well, uh. Priestess Exioni said you had a problem. Tell me. I have shamed myself. Normally, I hunt for my family and to provide for the village. But the other day, I slipped and wrenched my ankle badly. I, I can barely walk. I am unworthy of your attention. You are not at fault for your injury. Go on. My daughter, Mirto, insisted she would go into the woods and hunt for me. She's brave, but still inexperienced. She has been gone long, and I grow worried. I'll find her. Let's go. I need to stay hidden. 